Hello. We are in the Mazda at Open Park Foster's configuration. That's pretty much that. <laughs> Not much more to it than that. Uh, I'm gonna fix the audio a little bit. Okay. I should have been more prepared prepared before hitting record. Uh, get my microphone a little closer. There we go. Um. So we've been to Olton Park before, but I'm not sure we've done the uh, Foster's configuration on the channel, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, some of these uh, races I feel like I'm starting to get some doubles of on the channel, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing them, try to get, because uh, uh, it doesn't really make sense to just keep doing the same you know, rookie series uh, over and over again. Um, I race them because I can't really afford to buy all the like, you know, advanced Mazda tracks that they do and stuff. So I'll find myself here a lot. Ring, ring, ring. Make it a good run. Okay, that was decent. Um, so uh, I find myself on the same track car combinations pretty frequently. Um, I'm not sure if I'll just keep doing them or not. Make sure I don't get off track there. You can go faster through there, but I don't want to get an off track in uh, qualifying here and then validate the lap. So, uh, unless someone says otherwise, I'm probably not going to, you know, if we get a uh, configuration I've done before, probably not going to do it again if I've already got a, got it on the channel. But uh, I don't think I've done the Foster's layout yet, so uh, this will be something a little bit new. This isn't my best lap so far. Um, kind of taking it easy a little bit on this first lap to make sure I can actually get a time in and then I'll push a little harder next time through so that way uh, you know if I do get an off track I'll have something to go back back up on so I'm not starting at the uh, complete rear so this will be my backup lap, and then we'll push a little harder this time through. Okay. That uh, corner is a little tougher. Colder tires. You struggle to get it to turn a little bit. So far, so good, though. This should be an improvement from the first lap, which is going to be nice because apparently the first lap was not very good. And right now it's got me an eighth. Twenty-seven point four zero. Sounds like a, a lap they're gritting out there. So this will be better. Uh, sounds like there's some real fast ones out there though, so I don't think I'm going to be pole or anything like that. What's that got me? 1077. Six. Wow, fast people in here. Or maybe I'm just that slow. I don't know. But, uh, what we got? 1072. That guy was the fastest time in uh, practice too, I think. I can push this one a little bit harder. Probably make up some time through there. Let's see, and then we got 1072, 1072, 3, 4, 5, and then I got me at the 7. Alright. I'm typically not as good on uh, cold tires, so. Maybe I'll have a little better pace once the uh, tires warm up a bit. Right now, my. Uh, current best is a 107.5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Went a little hard there. And uh, how many people we got behind us that have qualified? I think a nice little handful. I thought that number seven 
Paul Mallard. I thought that was Paul Menard for a second. I was like, really? Of Menard's fame? <laughs> That'd be funny. So I think uh, we got some faster guys in here, but I think I should be all right in race pace. But we will find out. Yeah, once these uh, tires start warming up a, a bit, I start feeling better. Wonder if guys uh, do some tire warming tricks to uh, get their tires a little warmer before they take their laps in practice. That would probably help out a bit, but I don't know anything about that, so I just kind of go out there with what I have. Interesting. Holding tight in this uh, six spot, though. So you can make some good time through there, but then you get that off track. So, great. Now I have a 0.25x. My safety rating is ruined. Looks like you can cut that curve a little bit, though, and not uh, get in trouble for it. So, might utilize that a little bit. Number four car. That seems a little optimistic. I don't know if I can pull that off. There's so many fast guys in here, but we'll see. Got to survive the start first before we can worry about making it to the end. And uh, there's always uh, a bit of a question when it comes to that in these races, so we'll see. Hey, that was a pretty good lap. Less than a tenth off of our uh, all-time best. What was it? It was A. Take this corner. Ooh, take this corner poorly. Uh, that last 107.6. All right. If I were to do that, I would be in the same exact spot. So this is where I was always going to qualify, apparently. Wow, yeah, you can really push that corner there. I don't think that was the best way to take it, though, because it kind of ruined my run off. But good to know. It's going to be interesting to see where the good uh, passing opportunities are, as we're about to get kicked out here in a moment. Oh no, I'm going off course! <laughs> good timing, I would have looked like a fool <laughs> if it didn't kick me out in time. I would have given myself more uh, stupid X's. <sighs> so we got lots of Australia in here. Try to give a little extra room, knowing uh, there's some higher pings around us. But uh, not too bad. Let's uh, get ourselves onto the grid. Please? Please? Okay, <laughs> click it like six times. I racing, please. I would like to go race now. Let's get our quick repair ready. Just in case, as always. Get some uh, pre-race stretching done in case I uh, wreck my car and I have to run to the finish. Got to have the legs stretched, you know. <laughs> Drink of water. Knock something off my desk. That's how you know you're prepared when you're being clumsy. We've got a laser in front of us. We've got hockey in front of us, and Bean behind us. Some great names here today, including whatever a Tendal is. And we're off. Will we survive? This guy's trying to make sure we don't. Mr. Laser, hello, Laser, I'm here. Jesus. He's just gonna keep turning into me, I guess. That guy's going way off course. Jesus, these guys are crazy. It is, in fact, the start of the race. You can take it easy, if you would like. But uh, I guess that guy's just going to drive off course and pass some guys, because he's, I don't know, 
Lewis Hamilton or something. That's a road racing name that I know is good. <laughs> I don't know much about road racing, but I know he's a good one. Oh my Jesus. Now I'm off course. Well, cold tires have gotten me again. Let him go since it was my mistake. That made me go wide. And uh, we'll try to get back later. We got uh, 15 laps here today. Got through there uh, better than he did, but I'm not sure where you want to pass. Oh my, what's happening there? That's going to be dangerous. Please stop parking it in front of everybody. Giving as much room as I possibly can. What a mess. Well, we're not going to survive this next corner, I can tell you right now. So that's unfortunate. Ugh. <laughs> I tried. I don't. That was not a good corner to be side by side in. I did my best to stay. Where I needed to be. Man, I'm not doing too good this race. I need to rein it in. Okay, well, this guy's passing again. He's really close to my insight. Jesus, man. You gotta get more room than that. Especially if you're just gonna back out. I'm going all off course. I'm all flustered. <laughs> It's crazy. Need a minute to breathe. Get my composure. Okay. So we got some space behind, Paul Menard behind us. And now, well, we'll think about trying to find a way and pass this guy, but it does seem very difficult to pass. A lot of corners you don't necessarily want to be side by side through. So that's tricky. Plus, I don't think I'm very fast. I don't have this quite figured out, I guess. Alright, well that guy takes other guy out. Have to keep that in mind if we're near him. He's, uh... He has a history now. Don't let, uh, let us be his next victim. I guess we gained a spot. It's one way to do it, with the assistance of someone else. It's such a tough corner. I'm really not uh, interested in going wide every time. Even though it's a little faster, just getting incident points every time you do that. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't have very good pace. Don't feel as uh, don't feel too good. Seems like a lot of guys are. Getting through here a little better than I am, and he's off a little bit. Do we have enough of a run to do anything with it? I don't think so. Just 
just uh, trying to keep uh, in front of Mallard behind us. So I'm trying not to worry about him all too much. See, they're getting a one X every time they do that. I mean, you saw me do it earlier unintentionally. Yeah, using up that curb like I learned I could do. Doesn't seem all that much <laughs> faster anyway, but it's uh, an option. It's fine. He's well off. It's gonna take a defensive line. He's gonna take another defensive line. Okay, so it's gonna slow us both down, I guess. He's going to push up in front of me. If I had actually gone alongside him, he would have pushed me off. So we're just getting held up real bad right now. I guess. We got someone behind us that's new. It looks like they're very aggressive. Judging by their breaking patterns. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Please don't tell me they're going to make a move here. Yep, alright. You going to push me off? No, we're fine. Why would you try to pass in that corner? I don't know. Go ahead. Good lord. Go have fun. Go take out that guy for me. We're only halfway through. I mean, I would probably be a better driver if I were more uh, more aggressive, but whoop, there goes that 1x. But uh, probably be uh, off the track more often too. So I'll, uh, I'll uh, take consistency. I'll take consistency any day. See if the six can uh, catch up to the three and maybe fight with him a little bit. Tiring course. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Stay close. There might be a chance here. Ah, man, I gotta stop. Even though you can go off there, you need to go fast. I'm just getting those one X's. I keep thinking I can like push it just enough not to get off course. I still get through there pretty fast, but nah. That time, uh, cutting uh, the curb a little bit actually hurt me. I did a little too much and kind of ruined my run off. That uh, six is creeping up on the three. Interesting to see what happens there. I can imagine the three taking a defensive line and the six diving it in on them. Man, that was an off track. Man, I'm just sabotaging myself this race. I didn't feel like it was. I know I kind of cut it pretty close, but oh well. I did that poorly. Cause now I'm trying not to get the off tracks. Man.
Oh no, the cone. We have a cone casualty. What's happening here? Oh my god, what is happening here? Something weird's happening. Oh my. I'm gonna have to be ready to break for this. I'll take the off track, that's fine. Oh, that's going to be a safety rating hit this race, but uh, I'll trade some safety rating for what was that, four spots? It was just a little too blocked for me to try to stay on course. But uh, you knew it was coming. Anticipation's a big part of racing. Stay on track, even though it's slow. Number seven's using the whole course and is going to catch us a little bit. But uh, I'd like to save my off tracks for when I need them, like uh, last lap. I think we got ourselves a uh, safe top five here, even if Mr. Menard, Paul Menard, gets past us. I'm just going to keep calling him Paul Menard. Uh, so, you know, if uh, his lime green machine ends up passing us, that's cool. there. I'm kind of missing my marks. I guess this uh, track slash layout is just not really vibing with me in the Mazda. Just don't quite... Uh, wow, look at that. That was awful. Wow, that was terrible. Okay. Bye-bye, green machine. If I'm going to make mistakes like that, then... Uh, I lose the right to my position. I don't know, I'm just struggling to hit my marks. Uh, is this a good line through here? You wanna drift it? Teach me your ways, Shrek. Next of them. <laughs> He's like, I can't hold this apparently, so you go ahead. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm sure I'll make my uh, next mistake here. Has just, been disqualified. Just, done a just been disqualified, I hear. So someone did that one too many times, but you know, actually went off track. That was about as close as you can get. Ooh, man, I just cannot figure this out. Got loose again on uh, after I hit that curb. Just kind of struggling to make sure I don't crash myself. Not typically how I like to be racing. I wonder if uh, the way I'm throwing this thing around is bad on the tires or something and they're less grippy. I know it's a short race, but I'm trying to find out why it feels like it's not turning like it uh, like I expect it to. Maybe I'm not braking hard enough. I don't know. I'm trying to diagnose whatever's going on here. I think my car's got a bad case of the me driving. I got through there pretty good that time though. I'm probably just overdriving. I'm trying to get too much out of it. Probably benefit me to be a little smoother. They got the, through that corner really good though that time. here. 
Might uh, go for the pass. Tried to cut it real close to avoid going off wide and still getting some good speed, but I ended up just going even wider than I would have otherwise. <laughs> it's not a very good exchange. So we got a little space behind us. I don't think Paul's in a position to uh, dive in on us unless he uh, really, really wants fourth. Or if I really, really mess up a corner. Like that. He's going to go for it, I bet. Yep. <sighs> Alright, well, I was able to outbreak him. Oh no, don't crash! It was good racing with you, man. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's kind of freaking out. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm like looking in my mirror because he's freaking out and I give myself an extra off track. Wow, okay. Well, that's bad for the <laughs> safety rating this race was, but pretty solid finish at least. <laughs> something to him. GG. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Give the big smiles. And uh, we'll see what happened out there. That was pretty wild in those opening laps. We'll get to see that big, the big one at Alton Park. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember seeing that. That was, whew, that was something. Me squeezing through just on the inside, giving all the room in the world. Oh, that still wasn't enough almost. Doing my best not to hit someone. I probably went way too soft through there, and I'm lucky the guy behind me braked. But I mean, he didn't seem intent to give me any room at all, and I kind of assumed he wouldn't. So, I mean, look how much room I have. That's less than a car length. And because I anticipated it, I was able to avoid contact. Thankfully, um,. This guy um, <laughs> breaks for me. So, yeah, that whole beginning was a huge mess. Look at all this. All clumped together. It's funny. Oh, this is that big, the big one. Oh, my lord. <laughs> It looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a slinky coming together, all compounding into one. <laughs> and then you see both uh, Paul and I <laughs> just kind of decide to say, you know what? Forget the track limits just for a second here. We uh, we got a got a road closed ahead. <laughs> wow, what a what a clog! Get the plumber. The track is clogged. See uh, anything else happened? Well, is that it? Surely there must have been more. But uh, I guess not. All right. Well, that's all we're gonna see from the incidents. That was a quick incident report. Uh, started sixth, got fourth as the four car, and uh, saw some pretty interesting sights. <laughs> but uh, it was a fun one. Um, Paul and I had a great race. Um, I think uh, we were patient with one another and. Uh, we both ended up with pretty good finishes in the top five, so uh, good stuff. Hope it was uh, fun to watch. I'll see you later.